Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you guys can probably already tell from the title today I'm going to be cleaning out Chandler's cage. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's just go ahead and get on to it So at this point you guys already know the drill with these videos I always start off by just taking everything out of the cage before I take actually Rhino or Chandler in this case out of the cage You guys can see that I'm using mittens and I will explain why that is uh, later, uh, so I'm just scooping up Chandler and transferring him to the little bin that he is just going to be chilling in while I clean out his cage because I don't want to stress him out or anything. And you guys can see that he's actually pretty good at being held. I don't hold him um, every day or anything, but when he is held, he's pretty good about it. So this is this the little holding bin that I am putting Chandler in for now uh, as I clean out the cage He's probably just in there and I'm actually gonna be taking all of this bedding This was actually the bedding that I took out most of it whenever I was setting up his cage back a couple weeks ago So I'm actually gonna be taking all of this bedding and putting it into his new cage setup that I'm gonna be making for him right now There you guys go. I just held him. He's really really good with being held and he's like yeah, he's very docile and sweet, and the reason why I have the gloves on, if you don't know already, is just because he has nipped me a few times, and I am definitely more chill about holding him and interacting with him when I have them on. I am probably going to be trying to, like, take them off soon, seeing how he does and everything, so I just wanted to let you guys know that before I get on to the rest of the cage cleaning. So, originally, I was planning for the cage tours of both Rhino and Chandler to be in this video. However, this video was going to be like pretty long with the cage tours added in, so I decided that I would just make that a whole separate video that you guys can watch uh, maybe at the end of this week or early next week. Uh, also, I'm sorry that I have two cage cleanings like back to back. Normally, I would like to space them out, but I don't have any other videos lined up at the moment, so we have two back to back cage cleanings. So yeah, um, I think you guys like them, I enjoy filming them, and obviously the hammies love having their cages nice and clean. Since I already had some bedding in the cage, I went back over to Chandler's holding bin and I just kind of waited for him to be in a prime position that I could pick him up. I don't like picking them up when they're like not out in the open because I just feel like that's awkward. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of letting him sniff me and everything and I really like it when they crawl up onto like a higher platform because it's way easier for me to just scoop them up and everything. And as you guys can see, I took off the mittens because I honestly, it's more so he nips me when he's just like sniffing me and less when I'm actually holding him, if that makes sense. And then right here I'm just pouring in the bedding that was in that bin because I don't need it to be in the bin anymore. And I gave him a little treat and I was just kind of putting in all of the toys, accessories, and more bedding. Alright guys, so I'm currently still making the cage and I'm actually going to be trying out this. Excuse the duck, that's my dog's toy. I'm gonna be trying this out. Uh, it's from KT and it's called Clean Comfort Small Bedding. And it pretty much looks like the same thing as KT Clean and Cozy, but you can actually get it from Walmart. And it may have been cheaper, I'm not really sure, but it is the natural. So I'm really excited to put this in his cage so that it looks a little bit more natural in there. It definitely feels a little bit more papery, like this KT Clean and Cozy is like super soft. This definitely feels like it's more paper, which, you know, is obviously expected from a paper bedding, but just to give a little comparison, like this one's just a little bit more like soft, and then we have natural, but I really like the brown shade. 
because I didn't even know if KT Clean and Cozy came in like a natural color. And I'm really trying to build up the bedding on this side so you guys can see. Yeah, so I'm trying to build it up a lot over here. Chandler's like a really big burrower. Rhino, not so much, but I'm really gonna try to give him a bunch. One thing that I definitely have noticed about Chandler is that he's not a huge fan of hideouts. He definitely just prefers to burrow in any place in the cage that has bedding, um, which I think is kind of cool that he just doesn't really use the hideout, which is like a little bit unique because most hamsters immediately gravitate gravitate towards using a actual hideout but little Chandler is not like those other hammies he is a unique little boy and yeah he was just being so cute so I had to include some of these clips in there of him exploring As you guys can see, Chandler loves to pee over here in the very corner of his sand pit. Literally, why do you do that? Why, why? I don't know. I don't know why he does it, but I every single night have to clean out a lot of it, which is fine, but it smells really bad. So I'm actually going to pour this sand out into like a little container, and then I'm going to clean this out and get some new sand because he does pee so much I do have to end up taking out a lot of the sand and constantly replace it so I am going to refill this as well as the container that I hold most of the sand in for refills because it is out as well if that makes sense. He's just kind of chilling in here while I do that. When I tell you guys hamster pee stinks, I am literally not kidding you. It smells so bad. I have never had a hamster that has smelled like this before, that has like peed so much in his sand pit, which I know it's like kind of TMI, but like it's so odd. I'm not sure if it is just because he loves to use it as a litter pan or if it's because of something with his old house. Like I honestly don't know but it smells so bad. So I'm always having to like try to clean it out and sometimes I can't get all of it, but you just have to do what you can do and just try to keep the cage as nice as you can. That does not mean you have to clean out the entire cage every week. It simply means that you can pick up any little poops that you see, try to get out any pee, um, try to keep the wheel nice and clean for your hamster. Just make the cage look like something that if you were a hamster, you would want to live in, which is, random but like it's true okay, so this is pretty much it for the cage i just filled up uh chandler's water dish with fresh water and his food dish with some fresh food and i'm probably going to sprinkle some around the cage as well and i want to see if he'll take these treats sorry about the lighting you guys um i did have the ring light on but i decided to turn it off because i don't think the hammies really like it too much since it is supposed to technically be dark right now when they are awake, so, um, you want this? There we go. Chandler's been a trooper. Normally he does not stay up for too long. He just kind of chills in his burrow for a while, so I'm sure that he doesn't love this as much as maybe Rhino would. Rhino's very adaptable. He honestly loves running. He loves exploring, and I think Chandler's maybe just a little bit slower and he just prefers a slower pace of life. I will be giving full cage tours tomorrow once it is lighter and brighter outside so I also just wanted to show you guys quickly that the bedding is over six inches showing you all so with the bedding inside there it's about seven so I just wanted to show that to you guys in case you were wondering and it does go all the way over here so if he wants to he can like burrow underneath here all right, you guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me clean out Chandler's cage. If you guys liked the video, please make sure to give it a like and comment down below any more video ideas that you wanna see from me. They can be hamster related, they can be regular random videos. If you just have anything that you are, you know, like she should so do that, I'll do that. So yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. for me to say you